Hello and welcome back to Spark Coding. In this video, we will see our next question of Code Wars with 8Q difficulty, that is area of square. So let's see what the question says. Okay, in this question, we have to complete the function that calculates the area of red square when the length of circular arc A is given as the input, and we have to return the result rounded to two decimals. So basically, we have given this circle. Uh, sorry, we have given this square, and we have given this arc, and the arc length is a. So we have to find the area of square. This is one of the trickiest question of 8Q difficulty. So pause the video and give it a try. Okay, let's try this solution. First, I am converting my language to Python, and on train. This question requires a bit of visualization, so let us first see how we can approach this question. So we have given a red square, so it not be a perfect square in this diagram, but you can assume that it is one. We have given the arc length. Sorry for the messy diagram. So this is my arc length a. So what I can do? Uh, this is given as arc length, so I will draw it. To make this a circle, this will be also a, and I am trying to make it another square here, which will be of same length. So sorry for the messy diagram again. I am trying to make a four by four square. I was only given this part of the square. But I am trying to make identical squares alongside it, such that this white arc can become a circle. Why we can see that the arc length will always be a. This might not look like a circle, but assume it is one. This will all be a. So now with this diagram, what I can use is circumference of a circle formula. Circumference of circle is two pi r. And initially we had only this square, this blue square. And if we think about the radius of the overall circle, it will be r. And we need this r such that this will become the length, the side of the square. So let us see what we can do. First, we need to multiply this arc. Into four times because there was only one arc and we are creating more three arcs. What we can do? We can multiply a into four, and we need to calculate radius. So, if I take radius outside, then we need to divide this arc length by two pi. This will be my formula to calculate the radius. This radius will now become this side of the square. And initially, the question was we have to calculate the area of this square. So the formula for area of this square is side square. So basically, we need to, for answer, we need to multiply r by r. So this will become r square, and that is the answer. So let us try to write the solution. Okay, first we need to calculate the radius. And the radius will be a into four. So this will give me the whole circle area, a uh, whole circle arc. And we need to divide this. I am using float division. Let's check what will work. We need to divide this by two pi. And for the pi value, I am using math dot pi. I need to import math. Okay. And then we need to return. The area of a square. So we got this arc length. We got this arc length. We need to return the area of the square, which was defined in the question. So this is the first block, and the area of square is side square, that is r square, for this question. I am returning r into r. This will give me r square. But in question, it is mentioned we have to round it to two decimal. So I am using round function of Python. 
and we have to round it to two decimals. So I'm using two. We just test this solution. Okay, if we are rounding, I guess it will be in float. So I am removing the integer division and converting it to float. Okay, all five test cases are passed. Let us attempt this solution. Okay, all forty-five test cases are passed. Let us submit this question. Okay, there were some different questions. So basically, they have multiplied by two, divided by five, and then took a square of it. So I guess uh, formula is same, but they have rearranged it such that we can use it like that. Okay, this was all for this question. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. This will help me make more creative content in the future. Thank you.